welcome to part two of the Whistler acoustic guitar tutorial. So we left it um, the final chord from the intro. Um, so let me just play um, a little bit of that going into the chorus. I am the first piper So that's that part, that's the chorus part, and the first instrumental, the whistle instrumental part. So you're going to have to practice this quite a lot to get the accuracy of the capo moved from the fourth fret to the third fret. Um, it's actually easier to move it down than it is to move it up. Um, move it up requires this kind of movement with your thumb, down is just like that, and it's, it seems to be a lot smoother. So, you, coming from the A, and you can kind of let it ring, it doesn't sound horrible if you go, doesn't sound too bad. So from that A, and move with the capo move down to the third fret, we go to the G. We start on the G, to the D with a sus2 there's a little hammer on there on the F and you take the your second finger off you do the same with the C Sus2 hammer on there and it repeats again. Whistle along on the seventh day. And then for the first whistle instrumental part, it actually goes to an F sharp down to an E major. And then it finishes on a B. Now I do it like this for speed because you really don't have to hit the full chord, you don't really have to go. Uh, I mean it's better if you do, but it's a lot, it's pretty, the, the changes are pretty fast, so I find that is sufficient and you don't worry too much about, about that ringing because it's a very fast change. You know, you're only hitting that chord is you're only lingering it for a, a second or so. Okay, so it goes uh, from the F sharp to the E major, F sharp, e, B, and then F sharp, E, F sharp. Finishes on the E, and it repeats that again. So you end on the E and then 
basically at that point you will put your thumb mm, let me uh, you can see it better like that um, you kind of get your thumb ready you hook it kind of behind the bottom part of the capo there um, and then you slide up you, you can let it ring let me do that fast and it's just That's it. <clears throat> move it back up to the fourth fret, and then, as we've done before, you move it down again when you hit the A. And basically, that's it. Um, apart from there's a modulation for the second whistle instrumental, which is on the B. Um, on that so no, you don't have to move it up um, that's the last time you have to do that um, so from So it's basically five frets kind of up. Um. And that's where that ends. Um. <coughs> There's a the the strumming pattern here is a little bit different. Um, it, there's kind of a slight delay before it starts strumming it. So on the F sharp, it's, it's pretty much a downstroke from the word word go. Yeah, pretty much a jump. But on when it comes to the B, there's a little bit of a. a double yeah it's not really a delay it's a, it's a different strumming pattern kind of like the emphasis is just slightly behind slightly later um, with the with the emphasis um, and that's it really um, but as I said much much easier when you're using this and if you're going especially if you're going to perform it live uh, with a, a flute player or a whistle player ideally or a keyboard player um, then you know you're going to be able to pull it off like this um, but uh, the other way you're going to struggle so there we go i hope you found this one useful also and hopefully we'll see you next time